Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'll show you how to get sceneries that you've installed but that actually didn't show up in P3D. So you've installed it and you've spent loads of money because, well, P3D or any flight sim is an expensive hobby. You pay like £20, £30 or whatever dollars, euros, wherever you live uh, and it won't work if you've installed it and you can't see it in P3D. That is because the actual scenery hasn't been installed into a scenery library. Sometimes that is just because the installer isn't made for your sim version of prepared. Uh, normally it happens to prepared version 4 because uh, most sceneries, quite a lot of sceneries haven't been updated uh, to that version of prepared, a bit like Taxi to Gate. So today I'll be showing you how to do that. I'll be using the example of Taxi to Gate Hong Kong, one of my newest sceneries I've recently got. That doesn't install to version 4, neither does it install to version 3. It's really simple, it doesn't restrict you from installing it, it's just where it won't show up into P3D. So we're just going to go through the same installation process. I like to run as admin so no files accidentally deleted, like so. The installer would run, I like to have in English. You go through the installer and as you can see there's no prepared version 4 option. Uh, the closest one to version 4 prepared is version 2. So I'll just do that one and I'll accept all this and blah 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 blah. Um, <laughs> And here you want to add the directory of your main sim folder. Um, it could be just this if you're running version 4 prepared, if it's if you've installed it in the default location. I've installed it in a different place in my hard drive, um, SSD, another SSD, which is my H drive prepared version 4. If I click next, sim market, VHHH, that is just like a, a start menu folder. Don't worry about that, you can change it um, if you want. Don't know why you would want to do that. Install it. Um, as it installs, it will install into an add on scenery folder you can see there, and then Hong Kong. There'll be a Hong Kong folder and a Hong Kong terrain folder. Once that's done, it'll say completing, or it should say completed, and then you click finish. You have now installed Hong Kong into your sim, kind of. You've actually got the stuff the actual files itself. As you can see you've got the docs, uh, charts if you want some, uh, you've got the actual scenery itself and you've also got the actual terrain uh, around the scenery. But this hasn't been added to the scenery library. There's a really simple way to do this with, P with uh, P3D version 4 and that is just going to the prepared add-ons folder. So as you can see I've got a lot of stuff in here um, I've got some fly tamper stuff, so that does the same, doesn't actually add to the scenery library. So like Amsterdam, Copenhagen, Dubai do not do that, so I've done it to fly tamper. Um, got loads of other stuff that have been installed here, like FS Labs and all of that, Salt Lake City, and some UK2000 stuff as well. And also, I'll check live that complete meme. So, this is your prepared versions for add-on folder. It's normally found in your documents. Um, I have my documents on my OneDrive, so I actually I can access my actual PC documents, pictures, and all that on my OneDrive, which is pretty cool. Um, so I will just upload this quick file, this folder with a file inside it, um, onto Dropbox, which there'll be a link in the description, and you can just drag it into this folder. Once you've opened it, this is what it'll look like. So you can see add on name, add on description, and that there is, like I said, there was the terrain and there was an airport scenery. Um, terrain needs to be a lower priority, but for some reason the lower priorities are on top. So the highest priority on the bottom and then lowest at the top. So terrain will be on top even though it's lower priority. This is where I have installed mine. As you can see, these are exactly the same file directories to directories as these, as you can see. If I get to see uh, this, copy that directory, paste it into here, like so. I'll just give you the file um, with directory of this. I'll probably just do like dot 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 or something, which you have to fill in, like so. But there you go, that's how you do that bit. Uh, same with the terrain as well, uh, you'll do that directory. You do not want to, um, it even says category scenery, do not go into the scenery folder and use that. That is wrong. You need to go into this folder where it has scenery and texture 
and you want to go into that directory, then the sim will go into this folder and see there's a scenery and there's a texture, and it will just load all of those. So please make sure you do not select this, otherwise it will load the scenery, but it will not load the textures. So that's that. That's it. That's literally that's done. Um, you click save. That's done. As soon as you load up the sim, uh, you click yes, and boom. That's it. You now install Taxi to Gate Hong Kong or any other scenery that you've done that for. Um, if, you do, if you're doing it for a different scenery, then you could just replace the names if you want to. That's installed. Just making sure with Taxi to Gate sceneries, there are updates as well. So be aware of that. There is an update for Hong Kong. Um, so just drag some files over and replace if it asks you to replace them like so. Also, I have GSX stuff. So that'll be in the next video on how to install some GSX Level 2 stuff, which would be really awesome. So get GSX Level 2 Jetways. Uh, please tune in for that video as well. So that's how you install Hong Kong, uh, or any other scenery, in fact. Uh, like I said, you can change the file, the folder name for a different scenery. It's really simple. Just change the name here, and here, and up here as well. Just these names. Um, the directories could be where you've installed it. And if you load up the sim, if I run this as admin like I always want to, prepare an academic, and hopefully it would actually come up staring. Oh, I think I've already got the scenery active anyway. Uh, I forgot to load the sim before deactivating it. But there would normally be a thing saying, do you want to activate the, uh, the scenery? And you would click yes. You may have seen that on other stuff, like Ultimate Traffic Live does that, FS Labs. Um, I don't think it comes up with the FS Labs thing though, because it's, it's sneaky. Um, this bypasses that, but Ultra Traffic Live and other sceneries you might have seen uh, would come up and uh, you could click yes and that's it. So yeah, now if we go into the add-ons folder, like so, you'll be able to see if you scroll somewhere, Taxi to Gate Hong Kong is there, boom. And now if you load into Hong Kong, I might just skip this bit of the video, it'll be there, all installed. So here we are, at Hong Kong, it's all loaded up, it's all amazing, and this is the whole of Hong Kong airport, as you can see, if we go and zoom in there, uh, you can see the whole of Hong Kong, obviously there's some other stuff, I've zoomed in too much there, the bridge is a bit flickery, but yeah, there we go, that's how you install the scenery, if it doesn't load up in the sim, it's probably because it's not in the scenery library, so do my steps, and you should hopefully get it in your sim. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, hope this is useful for you guys, I'll see you in the next one, and bye bye for now.